a few years ago, a people from Germany called, and they said that the wife of the a man who had a business in Germany had had a dream and woke up with the name Mackenzie in her mind, and then Googled me and saw that I did seminars and said, well, let's go do a seminar with him. So they came here to Gunther's, to Switzerland, uh, for a weekend, <clears throat> the company, and it was just the three of them. We set aside the weekend for them, the husband, wife, who ran the company, and then their top guy. And when we started the class, I said, you know, if you came here for advice or for me to tell you what to do, you're in the wrong place. And uh, the owner bristled. What? You don't have advice for us? You don't going to tell us what to do? What do you think we came here for? And I said, well, I think that your wife had a dream, and uh, it involved my name, and there was a Google search after that. And so you came on a, uh, an exploration, basically on trust, and you really didn't know what you were looking for, so I'm trying to explain to you up front what is it that you're looking for. Well, synchronistically, that weekend, we had gone, that Friday morning, we had gone into Zurich to pick up Lama Gelson, my oldest son, who was coming in from India. And I told him I was doing a class, and he said, Dad, I really, he said, I've been working hard, I really want to do a retreat if I can just... Uh, be with myself and do my meditations. I said, cool, that's, you know, you've got your room in our house, uh, which is Mia's room, but becomes his room when he gets here. I said, you can do whatever you want, you know that. <clears throat> and so we've got in one side of the house the meditation going on, these German people going, we've never met a real monk before. But during the class, uh, the owner asked me the same question three times. And I finally realized he didn't want me to answer it. He wanted to answer it. And then he went off on some theory of his. It was, like, I don't know what the, it was the soul, the spirit, and it was something else. And it was some theory, and it went on for about ten minutes, and it was boring as hell. And, and he said, what do you think? And I said, nah, I think that, that was one of the most boring uh, things I've ever had to sit through. I said, not only is the language a problem, I said, but look at your audience. Everybody in here is completely bored. And he got real pouty, like a little kid. I thought you would like it. I thought it was it would explain things to you. I said, I don't want things explained to me. How well, Every time I hear an explanation of life, I'm pretty sure that that's not it. Well, he got a little angry with me, and but the class went on. And when we ended up, because there was three of them, we ended up in time that we had dinner, and Lama came downstairs for dinner, and we were having dinner. And, and Lama had met them throughout the weekend, and we, as we were eating dinner, Lama leaned over to me because everybody else was speaking German. Nicole had to translate, which, when I told him the guy that he was really, really boring, Nicole had to translate that. And she didn't really want to, and she gets the shit for translating my stupidity. But at any rate, uh, they're talking German amongst them, and Lama looked at, over at me, and he leaned back, and he said to me, and he looked at the man who ran the company, he said, Dad, he is so much happier than when he came here. I said, yeah, pretty good work, huh? He said, you must do very, very good work. I don't explain things. I don't know how things work. People seem to come out of my class happier, more confident, things like that. Just trying to give you some distinctions. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com